Which one would help you move your furniture if you decided to move? <laughs> Who do you call? Which Avenger do you call for that? <laughs> he'd be like, you know, he'd be like, call me, I can help you move your I furniture because he knows I don't have furniture. That's it. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Straight up moving a mattress. Yo, man, it's the best move ever. <laughs> yeah. Which was actually harder to shoot for you? Great question, Melissa. This. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> when you have lines, then um, there's a lot more to do. <laughs> you have to talk and walk. Yeah. Uh-oh, be careful. Sometimes walking is just better. You know? He gets a full wardrobe there. He goes in his trailer and cuts the sleeve off. Yeah. Just, just so the arm sure, will hang out. Make sure it's still It's like there. you'll forget it's him if the arm's covered up. It's like, oh, just I got it. I myself every day. <laughs> I have a lot of pieces to my costume. Especially the red wing. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah, true. Hey, once that thing is locked and loaded, baby, <laughs> ain't no getting That's out of his sights. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? True, true. Ain't no abort button on the launch seat. You know no going saying? back. No going, ain't back. No going back. A uh, lot of leg workouts. <laughs> uh, I have it in my contract that I have two behind shots uh, twice uh, in the movie. So, you know, thighs and quads, man. Thighs and quads. It's almost like we answered a different question. <laughs> Gotta give them what they want, baby, you know? <laughs> Can't have a tree without the trunk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, so aren't, aren't, aren't quads and thighs the same thing? Yeah. No, 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 it's two different muscles. <laughs> oh, okay. Two different muscles on either side of your leg. Your hamstrings oh. in the back. Leads down. Yes, but they are on your thighs. They I mean, are on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, So quads and thighs. No, 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 your thighs are here. Your quad is the front Don't muscle. Mean glutes and Last quads. question. Would you like men's to feel my quad? <laughs> Anyone here oh, for I'm men's health? Right now. Renner, <laughs> we help a brother out. <laughs> thank, thank you. I love you guys. I love you guys. I'm particularly good at washing up, doing the dishes. Yeah, you are. Oh, dishes. Yeah, mm -hmm. dishes. It's right. my thing. And I was thinking, if you could have an everyday superpower, what are you particularly good at that would be your superpower? That's so I'd be like... the worst thing to say you're good at. Who's bad I know. at washing dishes? I'm, I'm also good know. at driving. You literally I could just be take driving a... force. You don't I look like a good driver. I'm a great I feel like driver. You're pretty good at a couple other things. <laughs> I don't know. I see very deep, dark characters. So what is it dark. like? I'm so dark and deep. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm really not. You're really not. Sebastian is kind of a mess. He looks like a mess. He's kind he of a like mess. A... I'm always lost. Could you say that again? <laughs> I got. I just. I got. You look like a regular chill dude. Where this badass with the soldier come from? I mean, you can't fight that movie, man. It's just really deep stuff. <laughs> and then I got worried because that meant like I'm, I have to, I have to say things now, you know. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about how you managed to do that. How, what was the last part? How you managed to make such an amazing performance without having more than like two lines in the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you really that? You really need that attention no. so bad. Why are you going to answer this question for me? Please! I would have to say, probably the day I met uh, Robert Downey Jr. for the first time. That was, that was pretty fun. Because I couldn't understand why he's talking to me. <laughs> invited to Robert Downey's village. Everybody's goal every day is at lunch to see who's going to get invited. <laughs> to the village. <laughs> and you get so jealous. Like the day he was invited, I see him go I'm, by I'm, my trail. I'm, I'm like, motherfucker. I, I wanted to have Sebastian over sooner, but he sent me this video of him just ripping out <laughs> bicep curls with a decapitated Iron Man. Uh, <laughs> what was the most challenging uh, side of the movie? Watching Chris kiss a girl. <laughs> Don Cheadle looks blind in that picture. He look, <laughs> he's looking way over there. I try to get the guys out and have a good time together, but you know, Sebastian is not the type of guy who likes to have fun. Right. Uh, he's more of a, you know, I'm old, so, you no. know, I have to sit around and think about what I'm doing tomorrow so I it's can like, do it. Uh, uh, I would say RDJ, he's rich as fuck. <laughs> Mm. I guess that is quite, there is an allure yeah. about being. <laughs> As my friend rich. Nishka would say, <laughs> I ain't saying I'm a gold digger, but I am. <laughs> but he rich. But what a lovely last answer. That's not Thank me, you that's so much. Anishka. As my friend Nish would say. <laughs> well, as my friend Nishka would say, always wash it before and after you go to bed. Vanilla ice. Okay. 
That's what he calls me. But uh, uh, you, you think know. you outgrew bad nicknames after high school? But apparently, Wiener Soldier. No, I, absolutely not. Quite the opposite. In fact, I keep gaining them. Oh, sexy sea bears. You kind of look like a diva. The costume that the, uh, the Winter Soldier the has, the hair. Well, I told. Uh. I said I can't move without a wind machine. I just. <laughs> he would take his mask off and be like, "How long do I have to wear this thing?" <laughs> <laughs> yes, and exactly. exactly I would just turn it. Like, uh, I used to do Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> from here down, you're very handsome. Oh, well, <laughs> from <laughs> this is where you give us the profound intellectual, uh, Michael. This is where you hit us with the real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like when we first met, I was like, man, this dude is. I need a thesaurus to talk to this dude. <laughs> I turned on Siri. Like, listen to this fool and tell me what he's saying. <laughs> Asked Robert Downey Jr. specifically if he had a message. Your mom. Oh. We have a message for him. That's oh right. my That's God. Right. Well. Tell I... him to take his Gingo Galuba so he can remember why it's Viagra. <laughs> We're just young, hot guys, just hanging out, lifting weights. At, you know, just trying to protect the world. You don't have to tell me, my friend. Team Iron Man. It's a bunch of old dudes waiting for their AARP to kick in. <laughs> they were like, how can we make a very attractive team, and how mm -hmm. can we make an old, sleepy team? <laughs> Naps, uh, bedtimes, uh, yeah. they have to eat oatmeal in the morning to start their system. The work isn't as important <laughs> to them. They uh, allow other people, like stuntmen um, and uh, stand-ins, to do their work. So the hard work was with me. Obviously. <laughs> on second hand. I am, I really am. I work really hard on these movies. He also works the people that he works with very hard. <laughs> He's Coke can, perfect, uh, trash can, uh, magic marker, and Bring out Michelin the... car tire. <laughs> Who has the cooler ability? Well, he just has an arm. So I can could fly. that um, rip off those wings? No, you're out of your mind. No, I can fly. It I could. have a drone. It could. I could. It must be great to see a group of superheroes around you. No, I just laugh at them. Like, you know, when Sebastian's standing, I'm like, <laughs> look how stupid he looks. And, you know, <laughs> and his arm was dripping like ook out of his, it was the, it was the most disgusting. That, it was the worst it's thing. it's probably true. The worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Hmm. Between you two, who would be better as Captain America? Well, he can grow this whole five o'clock shadow thing, so I think he would be a better. But I don't Captain know how America. that would work for the half face, <laughs> to be honest. All that is described as having a bird suit. So, how would you describe what Team Iron Man is wearing? Say that one more time, homie. <laughs> bird suit. I'm hoping that person that referred to my suit as the bird suit <laughs> is doing a one-on-one, -on -one, cause when they come in here, I'm gonna punch him in the face. I uh, wait. You're, you're the wrong people. I love you anyway. But you should come over to my I just, I just walked into the wall back there. I, was, I fell like a few times. My pants have like literally ripped in half. Right. One time I got in the movie is the one time he didn't fall. Is there like some rivalry going on here? Sometimes you have a car and it runs really great for a long time. But after a while, you gotta, change. You gotta trade it in for new technology. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but just like the iPhone, the new software falls apart quickly. <laughs> and then you have to go back to the old way of doing things that is more reliable. Which is a rotary phone or a cell phone? <laughs> Sebastian started in the first cap, and he's evolved exponentially to having his name be the title of one of the movies, and now still... But only being, being in the movie for a quarter of the time. Hence, it was a good movie. You're a great name, by the way. I know. I, the thing is, you got to let him get go through it. Well, we were going to use this press conference actually to announce that a Anthony Mackie will no longer be with. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How do you work with a man like you know Anthony Mackie? He is, he's a distracting human being. When Warner Brothers decided to move that film, they moved it to the May date. So, you know, I can see where Kevin said, "Well, I'm, I'm not moving off that date." Boom. So, yep. that's right. Deal with that. Uh, so I, I don't think there'll be anything uh, to. I'm the Marvel Oprah. You get a plum. You get a plum. Catch it. That guy can't catch. You got it? I'm gonna throw it right at your head. You better catch it. You ready? Oh, lady. You got it? You're, you're
theory uh, online that uh, in Gamma 32, and in the 40s, uh, it put Gamma 32. <laughs> I always like the idea that he wasn't drafted, you know, that he made the choice to, to enlist himself because, you know, given his family background, he was always sort of following his dad's footsteps, which would always have been in the Army. So yeah. for me, kind of gave him that angst to, to be unsure whether or not he wanted to be there. Boom. Wasn't ready for that, huh? <laughs> I think the idea of civil liberties is really important, freedom sure. of speech, um, and the government kind of running the show sometimes is not, I don't know, I don't know how, how good I feel about that. Mm. Sometimes. I think that's because he's a young man. See, when I was his age, I felt the same way. Give me my own civil liberties. I want to do that myself. Now that I'm old, I'm like, just let the government handle it and leave me alone, dude. Tell me where to go. Which is why he should have been go. traded for Black Widow a long time ago. <laughs> just tell and me what I to do. I still got to talk to just, Chris about I just that. want the government to tell me what to do. My knees were, were pretty banged up, my ankles as well. It was so many hours of me riding him like a mechanical bull. I, I actually think one of my shoulders <laughs> at some point uh, was hurting. Willing to give up Renner mm -hmm. for Scott. Does Renner know that? Mm -hmm. uh, he should. All right. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind a little Black Widow Winter Soldier story. <laughs> Ashton, since we haven't heard from you, how did, yeah, how, did, how, did, how did finding the balance of truth within your respective characters? I'll take this one. <laughs> he doesn't understand me. He doesn't listen to me. Every but time he, I try but he to tries. Be, Every time I try to open up and express to him what I'm feeling, he, he just shuts down and he shuts me down. Why See, the Winter Soldier's a really good listener because he usually doesn't have the words <laughs> to respond with. I want so much from him and he's not a giver. He's no, not a sharer. No, he's not, is it? Do these movies hoping one day we could be in a Bollywood movie. You know, it's like we love that Indian culture. Awesome. That would be amazing, but American actors don't have that opportunity. One of the biggest Indian stars in Bollywood is now a huge success on American TV right now. Yeah. And we want mm. those same opportunities. We could do a Bollywood movie. We could do a Bollywood movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm acting a chokehold one time. You know. There's some advantages from coming from behind. Bobby, <laughs> outside of that, do you think Bucky had while he was on the land? He probably, like, has some game that he does with his arm, but... <laughs> <laughs> Most likely a laugh during a death scene. Sebastian. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> uh, most likely a cry in a Disney film. Falcon. Me. Most likely to binge watch their own movies. Falcon. Sebastian. Uh, most likely to retire and start a rap career. Sebastian. <laughs> Uh, most likely to wake up on a beach not remembering how they got there. Chris Evans. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. If you could inherit any celebrity hairstyle, who would you take? Really? Look at the quaff on this dude, know, man. man. Look at that. Look. And it goes right it's back just... into place. Look. Uh, I'm, I'm curious how many takes had to be redone because Bucky's hair wasn't perfectly set. Those are the only this times This Q&A just get hi hijacked by Sebastian's hair. <laughs> It deserves a few minutes of every conversation. There was a couple things where I was like, man, we've got to move on. But like, I was like, if we're worrying about the hair, then I might as well just be fired. Like, <laughs> if that's what you're paying attention to. But I'm obsessed with this hair. Yeah. I like it. Uh, that's your into eyeliner. It, it, it's black camouflage war paint. Okay. I hear you like karaoke. Is that true? Jerry. <laughs> Wait and then there's other, the other guys that hold you back the You have to wait the, for them to the get shoot. their snacks and their water. And we water. fall behind, you know. And it's just it's too much. Thing. It's too much. Sort of like too really much. loud just and keeps the going. The divas are the ones that just, it's like, yo, would somebody please get this dude some grapes yeah. so we can shoot? He loves grapes. <laughs>